Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. This video, we will continue the step-by-step -step workshop for the Queue Management app. In the last video, part 1, we have proceeded with the queue list in the dashboard. So in this video, we will proceed with the floor map in the dashboard and the floor plan registration and queuing history. All right, let's start now. Check the floor map view entry in the dashboard. The data source for the floor map is a slice. Let's check the slice. Set the table read only slice as shown. The slice is ready, let's check the user interface. Set the floor map as shown. Next, set the detailed view as shown. We have complete the view entries in the dashboard. Before we proceed to the next, let's check the format rules that we applied to the table. There are two format rules, the empty and occupied. Set the empty format rule as shown. Set the occupied format rule as shown. All right, format rules is ready. Let's proceed to the floor plan registration. Set the floor plan registration as shown. Let's check the detail view. Set the floor plan detail as shown. Next, let's check the form. Set the floor plan form as shown. All right, the floor plan registration is ready. Let's proceed to the next. Set the table form as shown. Next, set the table detail as shown. Next, set the table inline as shown. Next, let's check the queue history. Set the queuing history as shown. All right, let's check the client queue read only list slice. Set the slice as shown. The slice is ready, let's proceed to the detail. Set the detail as shown.
All right, we have complete the part 2 workshop. In the next video, we will continue the reporting function. Like the popular time, client queue duration and serving duration, and client queue duration before cancel. So we will end here. See you guys in the next video. Bye.